Good morning, boys and girls. Hope everyone is having a great day so far. We're almost done with the last day of school. We're almost there. But this week, who can tell me what you're learning? There's an important day coming up on Sunday. This Sunday coming up. Who knows what that special day is? That's right. If you said Father's Day, you are right. Father's Day is Sunday. And can anyone tell me what Father's Day is about? What does Father's Day mean? It's a day that we celebrate our dads. That's right. And what do we tell them on Father's Day? How much we love them and how special they are to us, right? So, and we give them presents, just like we gave our mommies presents on Mother's Day, and we tell our mommies how much we love them. We have the same day for our dads. And today we're going to be doing a Father's Day story, and then we'll be doing our same or different worksheet. So have that printed. And to complete it, you just need some crayons or colored pencils or markers. All right, are we ready? So now before we do our read aloud, I wanna hear from you boys and girls, what are some things that you like to do on Father's Day? How do you like to spend time with your dad? You like to go fishing with your dad, me too, nice answer. You like to play with your dad, read stories with your dad, cook with your dad, Oh, play sports with your dad. These are some great answers. And how else can we show daddy that we love them and we're thankful for them? We can give them gifts. We can tell them how much we love them. And what else can we give them? A nice card, right? So let's get started with our story. And it's called Toss the Night Before Father's Day. And that sounds pretty similar to the story that we read back in Mother for Mother's Day, right? In May, we read a story called The Night Before Mother's Day. And now this is The Night Before Father's Day. So let's see if they sound similar. So on the cover here, we have a mommy and she looks like she's washing the car. We have two kids playing in the water with the hose and the dog. So maybe they are washing their daddy's car for Father's Day, doing something nice for him. Let's see, get those listening ears on. Happy Father, um, The Night Before Father's Day by Natasha Wing, that's the author. And the illustrator is Amy Wummer. She wrote, she drew the pictures. The night before Father's Day, and while Dad rode his bike, we raced to the garage, Mom, me, and Mike. We, oh, hold on, boys and girls, I just have to move my screen so I can see the words. We tossed tons of junk, Mom picked up stray nails, we stacked towers of paint cans and white plastic pails. So what are the mommy and the kids in this story doing? They're cleaning the, the garage. They're helping the dad by cleaning out the garage. On hooks, we hung cords, hoses, and wires. Mom put away ladders and bicycle tires. We swept up the cobwebs and scrubbed up oil spills set up dad's hammers, screwdrivers, and drills. So who here has daddies that have a lot of tools at home? Raise your hand. I know my dad has a lot of tools at home. Dads are great at fixing things, right? After washing the car, we polished it up. Then inside, we left dad a new to-go coffee cup. Whose daddy likes to drink coffee? Mine does too. Mom eyed the dipstick. Yep, it's a quart low. So she poured in more oil. Now it's ready to go. 
So this mommy was checking the oil in the car. Oil is very important because it helps keep your car moving. It helps it drive. You need oil for the car to go. So they, how did they help their dads so far for Father's Day? What nice things have they done? They cleaned the garage. That's right. What else? They cleaned his car. They got him a new coffee cup. And they put oil in the car. Nice listening, boys and girls. Let's see what else they do for their dad. Exhausted, we nestled all snug in our beds while visions of Father's Day danced in our heads. The next morning we let dad sleep an extra late and then we served him bacon and eggs on a he-man sized plate. So what did they do in the morning for their dad? They did two nice things. They let him sleep in, that's right, good paying attention. And what else? Did they make him lunch, breakfast or dinner? They made daddy breakfast. What was for breakfast for this dad in the story? Bacon and eggs, that's a good breakfast to me. So think, boys and girls, these are some ideas that you can do for your dads on Father's Day. So keep these in mind. Happy Father's Day, we shouted and gave him our card. He laughed when he read it. So did mom, just as hard. Now get ready, Dad, for the biggest surprise. They're right, said Mom. You won't believe your eyes. We blindfolded Dad and led him outside. Look what we did, we said, beaming with pride. What do you think they're about to show the Dad? the clean garage that's right when what to is wondering i should appear but a man's dream garage dad smiled ear to ear his tools all so handy his workbench so clean it was the neatest garage that he'd ever seen how do you think this dad feels about his new garage i'd say happy too right he seems to be very proud of all the work that his family did for him. He likes how everything is set up. It's so clean. Guess what, Dad, I said. There's still one more treat. Right on cue, Mom backed his car out onto the street. Wow, Dad exclaimed, look at that shine. Who'd ever guess that this car is really mine? Does he love his clean, new, shiny car, boys and girls? Absolutely, look at his face. He's smiling from ear to ear. Hop in, he said, so we all piled inside. We're going for a long Sunday ride. I wonder where they're going. Dad honked the horn twice as we drove away. Thank you, he said, for the best Father's Day. The end. I'd say that that dad had a great Father's Day. What do you boys and girls think? You agree? There were some great ideas that you can do for your dad on Father's Day with the help of a grown up, maybe your mom or grandma or grandpa. You can make cards for dad, wash his car, let him sleep in late, make him a nice breakfast, right? Help clean up around the house. These are all some nice things that you boys and girls can do this Sunday for Father's Day. 
So remember that. Now let's get started with our same or different worksheet. So we have a few different rows on here. We have five rows, one, two, three, four, five. And in each row, we have different pictures. At the top row, we have mustaches because sometimes our dad, they have mustaches, right? Under the mustaches, does anyone know what these are? Those are ties, that's right. And sometimes our dads wear them to work or when they're getting dressed up to go somewhere nice. Those are our neckties. And under the neckties, we have shirts. Under the shirts, we have hats. And at the bottom, we have trophies. And there's three letters, D-A-D. -D. Does anyone think they know what that spells? It spells dad, that's right. So the worksheet is called same or different. And the directions say to color the items in each row that are the same. So we're coloring the pictures that are the same. So let's look at the top row. Do all of these mustaches look the same? That's right, if you said no, you're right. Which mustache is different? Which number mustache? The first, second, third, or fourth? The third, that's right. If you look closely, the third mustache has lines on it, almost like little pieces of hair. So do we color this one? No, but you're going to color the first, second, and last mustache because they are the same. So I'm going to color them brown. If you have brown, color them brown also. If you don't have brown, you can color them black or yellow or red. So color the first mustache, the second mustache, and the last mustache. When you're done, hold up your paper so I could see your nice coloring. I'll show you mine. And we left out the third mustache because that one is different. You got it. Let's look at the neckties. Do they all look the same, boys and girls? No, I hear a bunch of friends saying, no, one is different. Which necktie is different? The first one, that's right. How is it different? Who can tell me? The first one has polka dots, you're right. How about the other neckties? They have stripes, good observation. So which neckties do we color, which ones? The second, third, and fourth necktie. And you can color those whatever color you'd like. I'm going to color my neckties orange. But you can color them whatever color you'd like. Remember, don't color that first necktie because it's different. We're coloring only the ones that are the same. So we have to have our big eyes on today, looking eyes so we can see. All right. So we have our three mustaches at the top colored and our three neckties. Under the neckties, we have a row of shirts. Are they all the same, boys and girls? No, they are not. You got that right. Which one is different and how is it different or why? The last one is different because it has stripes. So which shirts are we coloring? The first the second and the third. I'm going to color my shirts blue. 
But again, if you don't have blue, you can pick whatever color you have. Okay, hold up those worksheets so I can see. Here's mine. Good. Moving on to the fourth row, we have pictures of hats. And are they all the same, boys and girls? Who can tell me which one is different and how? That's right. The third one is different. And how is it different? Yes, it does not have that ribbon on it or that string with the bow, it has stripes instead. So which hats do we color? Which ones are the same? The first, second, and third. I'm going to color my hats a green. It's like a yellow green. Make sure you're only coloring the hats that are the same. And our last row are trophies that we said spell dad. And who can figure out which trophy is different and how? The last trophy is different, but how? Who can tell me? because it's blank. It does not say, dad, you are right. So color the first, second, and third trophy. And I'm going to color mine yellow. So it looks like a gold trophy. All right, hold up those worksheets so I can see how you boys and girls did. Excellent job helping me figure out which pictures are the same and which pictures are different. And now, because we have a couple of minutes, we could do our Daddy Is His Name O song. And that goes to the tune of Bingo. And we are going to clap every time the song takes away one letter in the word daddy, and we spell daddy, D-A-D-D-Y. So let me share my screen and share my sound. All right, boys and girls, are you ready? I have, have a, a very special, special friend, friend, and Daddy, Daddy is, is his name. Mo D A D D Y D A D D Y D A D D Y, and Daddy is his name. Mo, I have a very special friend, and Daddy is his name. Oh. D-Y, D-Y, 
and Daddy is his name. I have a very special friend, and Daddy is his name. Daddy is his name. I have a very special friend, and Daddy is his name. And Daddy is his name. Thank you, boys and girls, for helping me sing along. I hope you enjoyed that song. And have a special Father's Day with your dads. Remember some of the ideas from the book that we read today that maybe you can do for your dad also on Sunday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye, boys and girls.